Hey guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, I will be talking about modes and songs and, and Jewish songs that use those modes. So the cool thing, so finally I'm able to do a video with my piano because I just got a brand new one. It even folds up, so I'll just show you Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah, yeah. So we're going to start off with the major scale, the most common scale in general music. So so we label the degrees one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So for example, a C major scale is C D E F G E B C. I don't know if I sang that perfectly, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. And then the G major scale is the notes G A B C D E F sharp and G. And the reason it's F sharp and not F is because if we played it with an F natural, that would sound off. Here's the G major scale just with F natural instead of F sharp. We'll get more on that later. You heard how that didn't sound as good as the major scale? That sounded off compared to the major scale? It's a completely different scale, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So. The scale degrees are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and the song I picked to reflect up from the major scale or Ionian mode, what, more on that later, is none other than D Don Natsach, one of my favorites, because, you know, it's a victory song, and I've had many victories in my life, Baruch Hashem. So here we go with D Don Natsach, I will play in the key of G major, because that's what I'm most familiar with. And you'll notice in the, although the melody never touches that F sharp, that differentiates it from that other G scale, the G Mixolydian with the F natural. The chords do have that F sharp. So here goes. One, two, three, four. Sorry about that little bit with where I got messed up on the chords a little bit. It's just that, like, I want to make this one take, but... So, sorry about that mess up. I just don't have time for two or more takes of this video today, because my tech time's been cut short today. I didn't hand it in on time last night, so I had to wait 52 minutes before I could take it today. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the most popular mode to use in Jewish music specifically. In fact, when I figured out how many songs I know, I knew 28 songs that use a minor key. That's all Jewish songs. Only 11 songs that I know how to play use major keys. 28 use minor keys, the most of any. So the minor key for so the minor scale formula using the major scale degrees and whichever accidental says so one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven. So, for example, a C minor scale sounds like this. So there's a C, D, E flat, that's a flat three. F, G, A flat, that's a flat six. B flat, that's a flat seven, and then back to C. Or otherwise, an A minor. So now to compare, so now, well, also a D major scale sounds like this. D minor, however, sounds like this. So, I demonstrated that so you can see the difference between D major and D minor. And also because D minor is the key that I'm going to play this next song in. The next song, that the one that I picked as my example of the Aeolian mode, the natural minor scale, is Hachiyan. It is written by Rav Shlomo Kalabach, performed by Eitan Katz on a few, equation, on a few occasions. Sorry about that. My brain's kind of messed up today. Good thing I have my whole paper written down. I, I had to arrange a minion for somebody, yard site for somebody who had yard site today. It was crazy. How? So, but that's a topic for a different video. So here's Hashi Venu. I will play in the key of D minor because that's what I'm most comfortable with. And hopefully my muscle memory will kick in because my brain is fried. <laughs> Here it goes. One, two, three, four. <laughs>
Miles Hashivino. Next up is the Doria mode. This one's kind of fun. I actually used to mistakenly play the Elnagan instead of playing in C minor. I used to play in C Dorian. I think I might even have a video up of me playing the Elnagan in C Dorian, but I thought it was C minor. So, but yeah, the Dorian scale is the same thing as a minor scale. One, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven. Just a six is natural. So C Dorian scale, for example, sounds like this. So, so that and I originally picked Al Hanisim for the Dorian mode song, but because the chords touch that Dorian note, that natural six. But the only problem is it actually uses Dorian sharp four because that because you know the A chord in the song touches that sharp fourth, that C sharp. Because it seems to we don't what that I think it's Dorian sharp four anyway, let me just walk up to it. It contains a C sharp. Wait, let me walk up to it. Actually, now it's Dorian sharp seven, silly me. It's just so weird. Like these songs, they can get pretty weird sometimes. Like you have Alan Sim, it's in D minor, but then you have a G chord and A chord. It's weird. Oh, actually, you know what that is? It's not Dorian Sharp 4. I wouldn't actually call it Dorian Sharp 7 either. I would actually call all Hanesim. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that is melodic minor. Yep, the chords go into the melodic minor scale. But we're not here to talk about that just yet anyway. We're not talking about that not just yet anyway. We're already eight minutes into this video, so let's just get on with Elnagan, but played in Dorian mode instead of natural minor or alien. So note, instead of playing an F minor chord when I get to that F chord with F in the root, I'm going to play an F major because that fits the Dorian mode. It has that A natural and C Dorian. So here goes. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's Ellen Ligon and C Dorian. If you know, so, you know, that doesn't sound quite right after I've finally got it through my head that the Ellen Ligon in C minor is in C natural minor, not C Dorian. That, here's, that just for comparison, here's a low part. Here's just, here's just one bar of the Ellen Ligon in, in C natural minor, C Aeolian. You heard that? That difference is obvious right away. You heard that difference there? A flat instead of A natural. Now moving on. I know quite a few songs that use Phrygian dominant mode in Jewish music. At last count I know like seven such songs. The the formula is one, flat two, three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, versus the major scale. So it moves the flat so it moves that third flat from the from the third degree of the scale to the second degree essentially. So, for example, E Phrygian dominant. So, for example, C Phrygian dominant is C, D flat, E, F, G, A flat, B flat, C. Let's play that again, but faster. And for these purposes, for here's an E Phrygian dominant scale, then which has only one sharp, that being G sharp. So E F G sharp A B C D E. 
kind of, it kind of has a bit of an unsettling sound to it, if you ask me. But the song I'm going to play for you that's in Phrygian Dominant is Havanagila. I'm sure that you've heard Havanagila before. It's considered a traditional Hanukkah song by some. Also, God Elba's released a version of Havanagila, but it's not literally, that's not real Havanagila. It only has Havanagila, Hava. It only has that part. It adds in weird, it adds in a completely different melody for most of it. So here's a real Havanagila. An e fridging dominant. Now here's the part where it breaks into harmonic minor for a bit because A sounds like the tonic now, but I'm gonna consider it to be entirely E for team dominant just for the purpose of this video. Here comes the minor chord! So what? So. If you notice, I was like, here comes the diminished chord right before that B diminished chord there. Added quite a bit of, it adds quite a bit of tension to the song. Wow, we already over 12 and a half minutes into this video, and we've only covered four modes of the major scale. Now this one, now the next one I like to call Phrygian Dominant Natural Six, because it's got Natural Six as opposed to regular Phrygian Dominant. The notes are one, that flat two, three, Four, five, six, flat seven, back to one. And I only know one example of this in Jewish music, that being Avinu Malkinu. Here it is. I don't have chords for it as of that right now, but here it is. In a Phrygian dominant natural six. about that mess up. I'll stop it here because, you know, like, I'll stop Avina Marcano here because that third part's kind of confusing for me. And also I wanted to note something. So for the higher part, for the second part that I did, it breaks out of that. It breaks into regular Phrygian dominant with its flat six. You notice F sharp, low part versus F natural in the high part. Okay, now for layer mode. One of my favorites because it's the brightest mode. The notes are one, two, three, sharp four, five, six, seven, back to one. So for example, C Lydian, which is, this is the only one I'm gonna demonstrate, is C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C. So I only know one example of Jewish music that uses a, that uses Lydian mode for even part of it, that being Napoleon's March. You'll hear, you'll hear. I'm not gonna play it with chords because the chords are kind of confusing, but, but yeah, here goes. Actually, let's retry that. But that's how I'm gonna put a finger up in front of the camera when we reach that Lydia note. That's all of Napoleon's March I'm gonna play for you right now because this video has already run what, over 15 minutes. Insane, I know. It's kind of hard to film for so long. Let me just show my iPad quickly. Yeah, it's starting to get a bit warm. We might, so, and we still got, let's see, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten more 
modes to cover. And sorry, Ben, over 15 minutes. Let's move on to Ionian Sharp 5, which is basically just a major scale with a sharp fifth note. The notes are 1, 2, 3, 4, sharp 5, 6, 7, 1. Basically moving the sharp from Lydian mode up to the sharp fifth, up to the fifth degree. So it sounds like this. In fact, Ionian sharp 5 is a mode of the of Phrygian dominant beat. If you notice, there's only one sharp in either a C, Ionian sharp 5, and is, or E, Phrygian dominant, that being the G sharp. Which means it's also a mode of harmonic minor, which means they're both modes of harmonic minor. Because harmonic minor, for example, A harmonic minor, has only a G sharp. We'll want that later. So let's see. The only song that's like pretty much one song I know that goes to, that uses Ionian sharp 5 to it for its entire duration, that is one of the two Nagunim, one of the two Chabad Nagunim called Nigun Hakafa. Or Nigun Hakafa is this one. Let's try that again. Yeah, that's all of that. And again, I'm gonna play for you today, tonight. But yeah, you got you got the point, right? You heard that G-sharp in there? I hope you did, because I'm not playing that again. That's, now moving on, sorry. Sorry that I blocked the camera for a moment there. We're going to Mixolydian. Yes, I said I would be coming back to Mixolydian like way at what, like what, the two minute mark? We're now close to the 18 minute mark of this video. So Mixolydian scale is one, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven, one. And we already did a Mixolydian scale at the very beginning where I demonstrated how a G major scale would sound wrong if I played an F instead of F sharp. That is actually G Mixolydian, which is exactly the scale I'm going to use for this next song. Let's play that G, let's get that G Mixolydian up there. And just for reference, C Mixolydian is D, E, F, G, A, B, F, C. But yeah, this song is Asada Sadasa, a traditional Chabad Shabbos day song. And yes, it is in Mixolydian, G Mixolydian to be precise. I used to think it was in C major, but it started on the fifth degree. But now I know it's G Mixolydian. That's all I'm gonna play with that. Now for Ukrainian Dorian. I do not know a single Jewish song that uses Ukrainian Dorian throughout its entire length, but the notes are one, two, flat three, sharp four, five, six, flat seven. So it's basically a Dorian scale, but with a Lydian note thrown in. So here it is. Here's a C Ukrainian Dorian scale. Ukrainian Dorian is once again it is another mode. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's another mode of harmonic minor. If we take, for example, let's count this up. So let's count this up to one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. It looks like it's the fourth mode. So we start from A, one, two, three, four. So D Ukrainian Dorian will be D E F G sharp A B C D. Yep, D. So Ukrainian Dorian is indeed a mode of harmonic minor, as well. The song I chose as my example for Ukrainian Dorian is Hope Kazakh, specifically the middle part where the tempo suddenly speeds up, and it goes like crazy. Like some people will just. Go crazy fast on that part. I'm one of them. Avram Fried is not one of those people who go crazy fast on that part, but it's the part where those people who do like to go crazy fast for Hope Kazakh will speed up the tempo. So, it's also that part that uses a diminished chord, if you're wondering. 
probably cut because the Ukrainian Dorian has both that one, has both that sh flat three and sharp four, aka flat five, that are found in the diminished chord. So, for example, C diminished is comprised of one flat three, flat five, or one flat three, sharp four. But yeah, here's Hope Kazak. But before that, I'm going to play you an F Ukrainian Dorian scale. So here goes. Hope Kazak's high part, like the middle part, I should say, where the tempo starts to pick up, an F Ukrainian Dorian. And now just to to complete the song. Although that part is in F major, not F Ukrainian Dorian, but I think it's cool that Hope Kazak is partially in F Ukrainian Dorian. Didn't even know that before I started doing my research for this video. Wow, we are more than 20 minutes in. This is insane. Ready for harmonic minor, the one that you've all been waiting for because we've got in so many modes of it already. The notes are one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, seven. I don't have any examples, but here's a C harmonic minor. And here's just for some reference a harmonic minor. Do you notice there's that? You notice it's that minor third gap in between the sixth note, in between the sixth degree of this harmonic minor scale and the seventh degree? Yes, it is a minor third, aka an augmented second. Makes it kind of tricky to use. Which brings me on to the next topic, which brings me on to my next skill, melodic minor. And finally, I'll harness him. Melodic minor is one, two, flat three, four, five, six, seven, which basically solves the problem of the that the harmonic minor scale had with in that augmented second slash minor third. Here's the C melodic minor. It's almost a major scale for goodness sakes. The only thing that makes it minor is that the root chord is is that the tonic chord is minor because of that minor third degree because of that flat, flat third degree of the scale. Interesting, no? Isn't that interesting? <laughs> now for... Now, I'm not gonna play you a D... A D, what's it called? A D melodic minor scale. Because the melodic minor part of Alanism only expresses itself in the chords. And only for the low part, so... Let's do it. One, two, three, four. I'm not going to do the high part because that does not use melodic minor, it uses alien mode or natural minor. So, good news. Although we are close to 25 minutes in, we only have five more to do. So for Phrygian, not normal Phrygian, not Phrygian dominant, that's 1, flat 2, flat 3, 4, 5, flat 6, flat 7. It's a, or in other words, it's a minor scale with a flat second. C Phrygian. Or... E Phrygian. Which I, I just said, and E Phrygian. And back to C Phrygian. Getting down for Locker in the mode that nobody uses. And naturally, I cannot find any examples of Locker in Jewish music because nobody likes to use it because it's so dissonant. Here's a C Locker in scale. If you notice, there's that diminished chord at the root chord, at the tonic chord, because of that tritone above the root. That's the tritone, C diminished. And the B locker in is all the white notes, starting on B. That is very dissonant sounding, isn't it? Very tense. Hear, the, hear that B diminished chord that we saw earlier in Hava Nagila.
And now for Lydian Augmented. It's the same thing as a Lydian scale. It's basically combining a Lydian and an Ionian sharp 5 scale. It's basically combining both. Lydian Augmented is 1, 2, 3, sharp 4, sharp 5, 6, 7. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. In C. With C as a root. And I cannot find any examples of this in Jewish music. Sorry. Two more to do. The spicy Locrian, as some people call it. Probably the, the darkest mode of them all. Some people call it Super Locrian. I prefer to use the more technical name, Locrian Flat 4, because it's essentially just a Locrian scale with a flat 4. Here's how it sounds with the root note being C. And the cool thing about this is if we lowered the root note by if we lowered the root note by a semitone, we would have a major scale. That's the cool thing about locker room flat four. Now here's a B locker room flat four. Still got that trash on about the root. Wait, what's that? Just heard something fluttering. Let me just check. I guess it was just a bug that was flying around. I don't know where it is. Now for the last one, the opposite of the melodic minor, as I like to call it. The flats are the opposite. The Mixolydian flat six. It is one, two, three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, one. Here's the Mixolydian flat six starting on C. And it's still a major scale because the tonic chord is major. And that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. But by the way, this has been my longest video yet. Oh, close to half an hour. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to check out my recent, my recent song that I published as a YouTube video as well, Above and Beyond. It is all about my experience on that insanely hot swing at Nashar at my sleepaway camp back in 2021 20, after I had had two miserable years at my uncle's house. Don't forget to check that out and share it with everyone you know. The message is, of the song is, that you should never despair, even in the hardest times. Things can turn around in an instant, exactly the way it is with our girls. Peace out.